All right, I wanted to review the uh, new Nike Elite replica jerseys. This one's from Hong Kong from Jersey 101. It's actually really nice. Um, it's got all the correct paneling. If you could see here, there's the mesh on the stomach up through the armpits here. Everything looks correct on it. The numbers are actually really nice. They're triple stitched letters. Um, if you could see here, this is an authentic jersey from Reebok from last year. It's the same, it feels like the same triple stitch material, except the Reebok one is actually a little shiny. Um, this one was bought at a sporting goods store for about 320 bucks. This guy was bought on Jersey 101 for $49.99. Everything looks about correct. The numbers are flat. They're not wrinkled like some of the ones I've seen. Uh, you can see the chargers stitched right above the numbers. This is the coolest thing I thought. They actually got the NFL logo right. It's plastic and it's reflective as you can see like it's supposed to be, which is kind of cool. Because uh, a lot of the replicas I've seen, they actually, uh, they're stitched. They're not even plastic. It's got the fly wire here, which I think is nice. Um... It's got the inside tag, which is stitched to the jersey, which on a couple of the ones I've seen was not accurate, so that's kind of cool. Here are the numbers. Here's the bolt on the side. It's triple stitched. It's a three-layer triple stitch, just like on the old ones. This is the authentic one here from last year. Reeboks actually are really thin. They're kind of flimsy. I don't know if you could see this. But the new Nike one, well, the Nike replica one, it's actually really, really hard. It's firm. So that's kind of cool. Um, the material's nice. It's like a, almost like a t-shirt material. But it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, it seems to be all accurate. I've never seen a jersey that came out this well by a replica, especially from like Hong Kong. Uh, let me show you the tag real quick. Hold on one sec. This is the jock tag. This is the only real flaw that I've seen on this thing so far because the authentic or the Nike Elite jerseys they have a, a laser etched jock tag this one seems to be stitched I don't know how well you can see that there you go but it's a really nice looking replica so unless somebody comes up and tries to touch you like on the waist they'll never notice a difference uh, let me flip this guy around real quick give me one sec oh, I wanted to show you this too this is an the new era sideline cap it's a nice hat and what i noticed is that if you look at the bolt how it's got that like metallic kind of horizontal stitching in there it looks like that on the replica bolt they tried to replicate that i don't know well you could see that and it turned out almost pretty good uh, let me flip this guy around this is the back side. Same thing on the back. The numbers look really good. Um, they're not raised in any location. They're kind of lumpy right now because I just got this out of the mail. So it's been folded for a couple hours. Um, all the paneling's in the correct position. Everything looks really nice. The jersey itself, the mesh is actually a lot heavier. I have a, a replica that I got for LT for LaDainian Tomlinson. And it's the same color, it's the navy blue, but the mesh is a lot lighter. So if you ever wear like a t-shirt under it, you, you would be able to read exactly what's on the t-shirt. I don't know if you could see my hand. So it's not as thick as they, I don't think it's supposed to be. But it still looks really good. Um, compared to, this is the authentic Reebok. If you put your hand under there, you could still kind of see it. I guess it's about the same. But I like it. Uh, it was 45 bucks on Jersey 101. And uh, honestly, the quality of this replica compared to last year's authentic uh, Reeboks, they're actually a lot nicer. There's the Nike bolt. It's kind of folded right now. I just got it out of the mail. The Nike swoosh. And what I learned about these things that I didn't actually know is the Nike swoosh, sorry about that, is, uh, I guess, faces the front no matter what side it's on. So if you're going to order a replica from anywhere, or if somebody sells you an authentic one that tells you it's authentic and not actually a replica, you want to make sure that even this Nike sign on the right-hand sleeve is facing the front, uh, which I read on actually on Nike's website. So they're supposed to face inward like that. 
which I think is kind of interesting. One, to make it hard for people to replicate them, but two, if you ever uh, get sold an authentic jersey that has the Nike sign the right way on the right sleeve, well, you know what I mean. They're both facing the front, so that's a nice way to look at it. So I'll try to give you a closer look at this fly wire. It actually turned out pretty cool, and it holds the shape of the collar. So that was pretty nice. This one's an Antonio Gates. And, uh, yeah, Jersey 101, 45 bucks. It turned out pretty well. Authentic. Nike Elite replica from Hong Kong. I'm pretty satisfied with it. All right, thanks, guys.